emotional. Welcome back to Built From The Bomb, guys. And two months ago, March 21st, I bought this property I'm in right now. It's a commercial flex space property down here in South Florida. And for the past month since the last upload, I've been like learning how to kind of do all this stuff. And I've never done any of it before. So I just sit here like on YouTube and like learn and then like implement it and like do it nicely. Hope you guys get a little bit of motivation from this that like all you really have to do is like watch some videos and you can like accomplish anything, you know? Let's get into it. We ended the last video with installing the trusses for the loft. What we're doing right now is pretty much just putting down the sub flooring for the loft. Uh, this is 5 8 inch plywood and I'm just putting liquid nail down on each one of the rafters and tacking it down with uh, decking screws and then later on, not in this video, we're going to be putting a uh, dura rock on top of it so then we can tile this whole section and make it pretty sick up here. After I get the flooring done in the loft section, I come down here and I start doing electrical work for the first time ever. So prior to this, I've never wired in an outlet, a light fixture, nothing. So kind of learned that all on the fly and I think I did a pretty good job and everything came out really nice. We got one, two, three, four, five, six outlets in this area we just added, then another three on the exterior of this wall. Before I leave tonight, I want to get the insulation in on this wall. So I just framed out the wall that is going to be for this door right here. And I also cut out the little sections of the tile so then I can lag down each section right there. And what I did was I left this open right here because the idea is to take down this wall right here, run the sub ceiling up until there, and then have the, an AC vent run above the door and then AC this room.
So I didn't film anything on, on me doing the electrical just because it's electrical, it's kind of boring, but ran all the wiring there and now I just hung up these recessed lights, just kind of plugged them in to make sure it works and now I'm gonna take them out and hang the ceiling drywall. Bro, I'm telling you, a full sheet of this 5.8 firewall drywall is like the heaviest thing to hold overhead and tack in by yourself. I don't know what load this is, but we got the last door that we need. Four more sheets of drywall, which should be enough. I guess I didn't really film anything of me installing this door frame and framing out the top part of it. So we're gonna just transition to me chopping out this part of the entry hallway, I guess you would call it. All right, as you guys can see, I started knocking down all this right here, and the idea is gonna be just bring the drop ceiling across right there. Just went to Home Depot, I just got shims for the doors, more drywall, all that good stuff. You we got this wall, you know, pretty flush with that good old Milwaukee grinder, and now let's drywall this whole thing in in three, two, there, we got all the drywall up. I'm gonna leave that section, I think, open because I'm gonna be putting drop ceiling in this area. So that's just gonna follow along there and that's not gonna be seen because that's above the drop ceiling. So it really doesn't matter if I cover that up. It's getting late and we're gonna end the day with installing the rest of this uh, insulation I got right here inside the bathroom. So we're just gonna cut it up, fill up these walls in here. And then I have, boom, some more drywall, but this is bathroom drywall. And we're just gonna mount it up in here. So in here, I just cut all of the steel two by fours that are going to go for the ceiling because the ceiling is gonna be at nine feet. So we had to drop it down from where those are. So I already put the little sliders right there that you slide them into. So pretty much you place those on both sides where you need them, then you slide in your two by fours. And so let's get the putting these puppies in. And also I drilled the holes for where the recess lighting is gonna go. It's gonna be 33 inches from that wall and then 22 from there. And then we're gonna do the same thing here and put four lights in here, get rid of that and have some cool recess lighting. So let's get all that up. So I took the electrical from this fixture right here and it was long enough to reach to that box. We got that box going, that over there. This line's still hot and then we're gonna put two more recess lights in here and I just kind of hung those to make sure everything's good to go. Now I'm gonna hang up the drywall. As you expect each other to do. Uh, you know. uh. I'm just realizing that I didn't talk about what the game plan is for the bathroom. So pretty much I'm going to be putting a full shower inside of here. That's why I'm extending it into that whole other section. And also I'm going to be having to tear up the concrete slab to put the drainage for the shower. And also I'm going to be relocating the toilet because that is in the way of the walkthrough to get to where the shower is going to be. It was so dusty inside that room, I couldn't even film it. So right here you can see the section I had to tear out so I could run the plumbing for the shower. And underneath that, you guys can't see, but there's a catch in it and it is tapped into one of the waist lines that is underneath that slab. And then we go over here and you can see the section that I ended up cutting out to relocate the toilet. So pretty much it was up against that wall that I took out and I just moved it over to the other wall. So pretty much right here, I had to take out like a three and a half by 16 inch section of concrete. What I'm gluing up right now is a four inch piece of PVC pipe that is going to be the waistline for the toilet. Bro, get out of here. I'll have the next part edited in a couple of days. Jeez, give me some time. 